Hi, it's been just over 20 weeks now since I first introduced the print table, uh, putting it onto the instructor boards for the 3D printing competition initially, but it was a project that I've been working on for some time. And essentially, as you're all aware, it is a 3D printer made using IKEA lap tables. Now, since publishing those files, obviously I've had so much demand off people. We have set up a website now where people can buy parts from us. Thank you everybody for your support on that. Um, you know, th th it's been great, the response that we've had. We recently showed the print table at the TCT show in uh, the NEC in Birmingham, to which again, great support from the community. Had lots and lots of visits to the stand. People commenting on how they'd seen the print table on Instructables and on the internet and also my YouTube channel. Uh, and obviously it was great for them to see it in the flesh. When we went to the TCT show, it was we were showing this model, although it wasn't uh, working at that moment in time, and this is the one with all of the updates. Um, and why have I done the updates? Well, it's, it's all about developing and continuing the print table. Obviously, with such a large build volume, having a heated bed was going to be important. Also, bed leveling, another feature that we want, just to make it so much simpler, so much easier, in order for the print table to find the level, do the auto tramming, and alter the G-code so it can always build something nice and level. But one of the other key features that I wanted to focus on is how to make it even simpler to build. And this is the purpose of the cam locking on the supports, but also some added features for the future. I wanted to make sure that we could close off the side panels, um, and with the uh, original design of the print table supports, they just stuck out about one millimeter, um, and in order for me to get, say, uh, an acrylic panel on the side, that was always going to make it very difficult to get quite a nice airtight seal around it. So something for the future I was thinking about was how do I then start enclosing the machine up. Some other features which have now been added um, is also the, uh, the tension springs. Um, so what we've done before, you just, you just tightened the belt tight you could and clamped it. Now what we've actually got, you can see the two screws there, one there and one on the opposite side. That is so we can now actually belt tension both the Y belt and the X uh, axis belt where you've got the tensioning just on this side here. Same again, a little um, uh, M3 hex screw just to set the tension up on that. What we've also done, one of the key features, what I wanted to do with the print table as well, was totally remove the overhead uh, gantry so uh, all of the wires coming up overhead and also for the filament to come through this again is for the future of being able to close the top off uh, and have a nice neat enclosed machine um, also in with that we've managed to open up the x-axis of the uh, uh, of where the print head and extruder does that's just going to start up now you I'm going to do close-up videos on this as well but you will see, you will see that it's going to do the bed levelling on this at the moment, just as it's going to start a print. So that's the heat bed has gone up to a temperature. I've set temperature at the moment on that at 80 degrees, um, and obviously the uh, hot end I've set on that at 210 degrees. And what it's about to do is just start off the print on one of these, which makes up the uh, spool holder for the desktop version. So obviously this has got the short legs on, so it's ideal to sit on top of the table. So that's done its auto tramming. It's now just doing a prime line, and then it will continue and then start doing the print. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is start going into the detail of showing the changes. And what I'm also going to do is show you, right from the very beginning again, how simple, even simpler it is now for us to get the frame built and get the accesses in. There's no drilling on the legs, no feeding the wires through the legs anymore. All of the wires now just come up through the center and then through the inner top part of the, of the roof frame and drop down. We've also added in this extra energy chain here, the drag chain, and that's so the wires can run through to the actual print head. Uh, like I say, in the next videos now, we're going to be showing you all of the changes we're also going to have uploaded all of the new uh, images, all of the new STLs for this build. Um, 
So look forward to seeing you. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more on the print table and you want to see more development on the print table. And I really do appreciate everybody's support.